So we're on question two of the seesaw. In the next act, Hannah, 55 kilograms, stands on a seesaw. The seesaw has a weight of 210 newtons. Calculate the size and direction of the force that the floor exerts on the right-hand end of the seesaw. So that's, oops, I'm using the wrong tool. That's right here. There's a force applied upwards at that point. Uh, all distances are shown on the diagram. Okay, so it's kind of a confusing looking diagram, but an uh, important point, I think, is to say that this is going to be your pivot point because you don't have a force at this point. Anyway, I've got ahead of myself. We need to look at um, the sums of all the torques equaling zero for this to, to work. So um, if we make all the clockwise torques in a positive direction and all the anti-clockwise torques in a negative direction, let's form the equation now. Um, so clockwise is around that way, it's the direction the clock travels, clearly. And from that pivot point in the centre, we're going to eliminate the force, which we don't know there. Um, and we're going to leave just the one unknown, which is this force. Um, so from, from the pivot point, we've got a force times distance of 210 times by 0 0.50. Um, it, incidentally, it doesn't matter that there's an angle here. You can ignore that, because we only consider the perpendicular distance from the pivot. Um, so anyway, clockwise continuing, the next clockwise uh, uh, torque is the mass of uh, Hannah acting downwards here. Um, so force times gravity is going to be uh, 55, sorry, mass times gravity, 55 times 9.8 gives us the, um, the force times by the distance, which is 2 meters there, 2.00. Um, and there are no other downwards in, from this diagram or uh, clockwise um, torques. So we have to then minus the anti-clockwise torques. And the only anti-clockwise torque is our, um, is our um, unknown force times by the distance of 3.00 meters. So what we would do is calculate all of that uh, and rearrange to find force. So F equals whatever it is. And the direction of the force is to be uh, upwards. That's unusual. Okay. Oh, size and direction. Okay, direction's upwards. The size is going to be, um, when we rearrange this equation and calculate it, I'll just calculate it. And if I've done my calculation correctly, 394 uh, 0.3 recurring newtons. Don't forget newtons as the units. Um, I may have mucked up my calculation, I'm doing this a little bit quick, but the principles are still there, clockwise and anti-clockwise torques have to equal because it's in a state of equilibrium. Round your answer in part A to the correct number of significant figures, to do so would give us to 390 newtons, which is 2SF, and the reason we've got a 2SF is, um, <coughs> as you see, um, we've got the least number of significant figures in the raw data, we've got two significant figures there, three significant figures there, three there, three there, actually, that don't know is three or two. Um, the mass of Hannah is, is two, and gravity is two, so two is our limiting factor, we have um, two significant figures as the least, and yeah, you get the idea.